Hello! Thanks for watching Square Type. This is the channel showcasing easy to follow pop up card tutorials and demo videos. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of losing my voice here. I've been sick for a little bit. Um, so I'm not going to talk a lot in this um, live stream, but please uh, feel free to send me any kind of. Um, you can chat with me right now. Um, I'll be on for uh, an hour from 10 to 11 today. And um, I'll just be making a pop-up card while uh, we're here live. Um, in honor of Groundhog's Day, which is later this week, on February 2, I will be making a Groundhog Day card. So, um, it's going to be a pop-up card. Also, sorry about my voice. I have a lozenge in my mouth so that I don't cough too much. But, um... So just sorry ahead of time for that. <clears throat> so, let me see. Um, what I want to do is have a, uh, a groundhog um, with a pull tab and just slide up in the card. Um, I think that what I'll do is have... Um, Kind of just have this kind of wintry scene paper here, and then the ground about here, and then I'll have the pop up come around about there from the pull tab here. So I just have to plan that out. <clears throat> okay. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> I would like to make it so that um, the mechanism is is hidden. Um, but I don't think I can do that with this. I'm not too sure how I would hide the top part of the slider. Because I want it so that when I pull, then the groundhog will go upward. Um... Um, okay, well, I'm going to use, um, some plastic here, and, um, I'm going to have it so that the plastic is really the belt that, um, the pull tab will pull on, so that the other side will go up. Um, I've actually never made this, so it'll be fun to watch this happen. At least I think it will be fun. Okay, so I guess the easiest thing is to just make the, um, the pull, the belt. So, um... I'm just going to cut out a strip about an inch. I'm not going to be too worried about it being too thin or fat. Like I said, I've never made this card, but... I've never made this kind of pop-up before, um, other than the um, the one live stream I did a couple of weeks ago where the arms of um, the image pulled outward. Um, and when, when you pulled the pull tab this way, the arms went outward at the same time. And the way that happened was... Um, 
you had one arm stuck to the front of the belt and the other arm stuck to the back of the belt. And so um, the pull tab was also attached to the back of the belt, I think. And then, so that's how it worked out that way. So it's essentially the same thing. So, um, except this time it's going this way and the groundhog will be attached to one side of the belt and the pull tab to the other side. So I have my belt, I have my background, and the floor, I guess, the area where the groundhog will be hidden under, and then I just have to draw out my groundhog. So I guess that's the easiest thing to do at this point. It'll take the longest, but um, that time will also give me an opportunity to think about how I would hide the groundhog. So let me think about how to actually make this. I'm not too sure. All right. Um, all right, so um, so this is the size, size of the card. I want to make sure that the groundhog will be able to fit behind this area here and um, so I'm just gonna mark that out so I know you'll have to fit inside this and um, be able to pop all the way out or at least up to about here which is fine. So he'll pop out around about there, which is good. Okay. So how to draw a groundhog. Um, I guess what I'll do is, um, <clears throat> I'll make his little hands. Um, just, I guess just a couple of little mounds, because groundhogs are usually just little, that looks weird, oh. looks more like that. They're just fluffy little, they're not that little, bigger than a cat, I guess, smaller than a dog, smaller than a medium dog. I guess they're the same size as a really fat cat. And then I'll just make a head. They have small heads, but I'm gonna make mine big because I don't know that they're, they're just cuter like this. And then they usually have like a pointy little head, so I'll make little hair tufts to make their heads look pointy, or at least this one's head look pointy. There you go. And then the nose. Oh, I, get, I guess I can get away with it looks like a bear. Oh well. Well um I guess like that and then they usually have 
these buck teeth. That kind of looks like a groundhog, right? Well, it's my groundhog, so I guess it's okay. All right, this part is not going to show, but I'm going to go ahead and draw it just in case it does show. Groundhog usually has like an underbelly that's a little um, different colored. And I'll just go ahead and color him in. I'm just going to color in the nose and the ears. And then I'll outline them in black. I think the nose is usually just darker. Maybe even it should have been charcoal gray, but this is okay. Big dark nose. <clears throat> I don't know, should his hands be? No. And then I know that the <clears throat> teeth should be white. Ish. White ish teeth. I'll outline this in black so it looks better. And actually, maybe I should outline them in bronze. I don't know. Does that look good? Yeah. Might look better in bronze. Oh, yeah, that looks cute. Sometimes. A card just looks better if your if the images that you use are cute. Like the pop up mechanism could be so so. It doesn't have to be so um, involved or special. But um, when the image is cute, it really gives it that extra. Um, you know, specialness that people appreciate. I think his lips should be black, teeth should be black, and his eyes should be black. So, um, I will do this part. Here and here. Okay. black mm, maybe that was a mistake oh well I don't know why. I just feel like coloring in his paws.
So in case you're not familiar with um, Groundhog Day, I think it's only celebrated in, or it's just a tradition in the U.S. and Canada, I think. Um, but uh, it's said that if um, around this time of year they watch for this, well, the famous one is this um, Punxsutawney Phil over in Pennsylvania. Um, it, he comes out of his, um, his home, his little hole in the ground. And if the groundhog can see its shadow, it gets scared. So it goes back inside of its hole. So if it gets scared, I think that means that there's another six more weeks of winter. But, um... If it doesn't see its shadow, it stays out and it, um, you know, comes out and enjoys itself. So if it comes out, then that means that uh, summer is coming very soon. So I think it's not really so much of a... I don't know if you can call it a tradition, but it's just something fun to do. Um, it certainly gave the town of, I think, Punxsutawney, Pennsylvania, um, something to celebrate. And um, you know, something for the tourists to um, come and visit their town. Right. I think I've decided that I'm not going to try to hide the uh, mechanism, uh, mostly because it's already a see-through plastic, so it should be okay. I'm not going to stress about that. I think that this image is very cute, and uh, the cuteness factor is going to make up for um, the uh, image showing. I mean the, um, the pull tab showing. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna have this. Yeah, I'll have to make the pull tab out of white so that, or something close to white, so that it doesn't show behind this paper. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, maybe. I'm not sure. Okay, so the idea is I have Phil here behind my <clears throat> card. And then when I pull on the pull tab, It'll pop up like that. So maybe I can have I can either put the pull tab here in front and pull them out from the front and then just disguise that. That way I can leave the background blue and not have to worry about the background and just layer other images on top of the front. I'm, Yeah, that might be the way to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and just glue my 
my wintry background here. I don't have <clears throat> I need this back here so that I don't get glue on my self-healing mat here. Just trying to make sure that my well just trying to even out the glue, the purple glue. Because the thing about the purple glue is it the, the purple does uh, disappear um, after it dries. But sometimes when you put it on something that's see-through, um, the parts that are thicker than the other parts won't dry all the way. Um, and you actually see it through the see-through paper. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. I think maybe I'll put some green on here. Oh, maybe a dark green and, um, and then put the dirt mound in front of that. Not sure how that would work, but we'll see. Um, if I put the green there, Phil will come out behind the green. <clears throat> Phil comes down to here to hide all the way. And then he'll come out to about there. There. So I can always cut this bottom part off if if he's not short enough. But it comes up. I definitely want his hands to come out up above the green. So um, that is the extent of the slide from here to here. So. <clears throat> Maybe if I had him. Hmm. Maybe if I had him lower. Like this. So there's more wintry scene. And then if I had the pull tab attached to this part of his body, it could slide up to there. And stay inside. Well, he's kind of outside. I kind of want him to come out of the card, though. Hmm. Well, then that would mean I'd have to... Well, his hands are in the wrong place. Okay, I'll just attach him here. Okay. Close this. Right. 
so this is where Phil will reside. And then it's also where my whole tab will be. Phil will come up from behind here, and the pull tab will ride along the front of this. And in front of this will be his mound. Is that right? Oh, I don't know. Okay, well, I have to commit, so... Either way, it's going to happen. Let me just go ahead and make the pull tab. This paper's cardstock, but it feels flimsy. So I'm just going to double it up, holding it over. Piece of scrap. And gluing it down. Mm. Like that. And here we go. <clears throat> Just smooth that down. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and kind of trim this a little so I don't get lost. Um, I could just trim this at the end, but I'm adding more layers and I don't want to end up losing my place. Okay. So there's that. It's going to sit there. This is going to be in front. And since this is in front, let me just go ahead and make a a notch for my finger so that the pull tab can actually hide behind the um, up inside of the card as opposed to just sticking out the bottom. So in my, um, a lot of my previous videos where I made a pull tab, um, especially for the spinners, usually I would just make them so that the pull tab would, um, hang out the bottom. And that's fine actually, but, um, if you're giving the card to someone or if you have an envelope that's big, um, to fit that pull, but if you're working with a special card that already came with an envelope, that won't work. Won't fit inside the envelope. So I started to make cards that had um, this uh, notch so that you could pull on a pull tab and it would actually be okay. Because you can get to that pull tab. <clears throat> So that's what I'm doing here. <clears throat> and you just have to remember, for each layer that you add, you have to cut that notch before you actually glue it on. Otherwise, you you know, will have defeated the whole purpose of the notch. And you can't get to your pull tab to pull it. The other thing you could do probably is um, just take this, um, just take the pull tab and then bend it over and fold it up inside of the card. Um, I don't want to do that here, but you could just bend it over, fold it inside, 
that way the person can still have access to it. But I think that this way of making the notch and having the pull tab pushed all the way in is more elegant. So I'm going to start doing that for all of my cards that have pull tabs. Okay, so here's that. <clears throat> now I have my little guy here. He's going to hide here. And then, uh, so he's going to be on the back. So let me hide him. Wonder if that little part should still show. Maybe not. Okay. So here, we've also got him. And the notch has to go around him, too. Or on him. Just cut him out. Cut out the notch. My notch is getting weirder. I just noticed it's kind of tilted. Oh, that's okay. Okay. So he'll be here. I'll pull the knot. I'll pull the pull tab. He'll come out. So the way he'll come out is he's going to be attached to a pull tab here. And the way I'll do it is I'll have this. Just marking the width of my what do you call it? The skirt the the belt, the plastic belt. Sorry. <coughs> Excuse me. Just making a line across that um, the span. That way I can pass the belt through these two things. Okay. So I need a blade. I'm cutting two parallel lines so that it's more of a slot than a slit. <clears throat> Same thing on the other side. And then just notching the edges so I can take those strips of paper out. Just erase my pencil marks. <clears throat> now I can pass this um, plastic through <clears throat> and on the other side. <clears throat> So sorry. Okay, so I've got double stick tape that I use here. <clears throat> so 
So I can stick this to itself. It's cutting off the edge. <clears throat> Don't make this too tight. Leave it a little bit loose so that um, don't pull on this too tightly. Um, because if you if it's too tight, it doesn't actually slide through the slots too well. But if it's a little bit loose, it'll work just fine. And cut off the excess. Press it down. Okay. So see that's sliding. Okay. <clears throat> With it in down position. <clears throat> I'll hide that later. Um, hold on. <clears throat> okay, that's fine. And then I'm going to put a piece of tape, just a little one, little baby, right there. And then stick the, I don't know if that's enough tape. A little more tape here, and then stick this belly. belly. And on the front will be my pull tab. He's in the down position right now, so I want my my pull tab to be up high, and that way when I pull down, I move down. Oh, I have this upside down. One minute. You have to remember that this is the bottom where the notch is. So put the put the tape up high. You can also just use glue, but uh, uh, double sided tape works very well. I'm just gonna place this here. Make sure it's stuck, and that way, when you pull down, he comes up. Oh man, little hands don't come up. Oh, that kind of sucks. Oh. Why not? Oh, because I have him glued way too high. Oh, because the notch is low. I'll oh, screw that. Oh, it's right where the notch is. Damn it. Okay, so I, I cut the notch, and I want him up here so that the hands will show. Right? So, well, that's not going to work. Um, And then... But if I have them up here, let me just get a scrap piece of paper. If I have them up here, and then I push this back down, this top part of his head will show. So do I really want that? I guess not because it's going to look like this. And then when I pull, sorry, nothing is glued down yet. He's going to come up to there. Well, I guess technically, I mean, if I put if I put this brown piece in the front here, 
It's gonna be weird looking. Ugh. I don't know. I mean, he doesn't look less beaver-like. I mean, <laughs> groundhog-like. He does look like a beaver. Um, oh. If it's just his face. But I really want his hands to show. Okay. Fine. <clears throat> I'm just going to glue this here so that he's back together again. That's fine. My paper. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm back. I just had a coughing fit. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Okay, I'm not going to talk anymore. It makes me cough.
Okay, now all I have to do is um, make sure that the sides here don't really touch um, the sides too much so that I can glue the, um, the green field onto the card. So this side is okay here. This side is not. This should be okay. Okay. I think what I'll do is just glue it. I was going to tape it, <clears throat> but I think it'll do better. Amazingly enough, that tape is really good, um, but you can see that I can peel it off with relative ease. And this glue, once this glue settles down and... Um, <clears throat> attaches it actually is quite uh, strong so I think I'd rather have the glue in there uh, thankfully this glue is forgiving for the first like minute or two and so I can make some quick corrections um, <clears throat> but once it actually attaches then um, I'm basically on my own okay so just get this in there. Leave a little bit of a, like kind of an opening. See how there's a little bit of a, like a gap there. <clears throat> That's what I want. <clears throat> and then here, I just kind of want to make it look like a, like a dirt mound that um, you know like any dirt mound it starts off pretty wide down here and when it comes here it's a lot more narrow well how could he be narrow his little head is hmm. yeah I'll make it narrow Alright. Okay. I guess I can make it more like moundy down here. Not sure. But I'm going to cut it just in general right now and see how that works out. And that looks kind of okay. So it's doing what I want it to do, which is hide this pull tab, the mechanism, right? So <clears throat> while I have it down here, mark its corners. have a better idea of what that's going to look like. That looks okay. <clears throat> I'm going to make a, a notch here along with the um, this notch here. So I'm just seeing where those two marks are. And then I'm taking my the thing that I made it with earlier and just putting it along those lines. <clears throat> Random piece of sequence.
Okay, I have that. There. And then, um, I also want, um, no, that's okay. So just the notch here is fine. And then, um, I'm just going to embellish this a little bit. Probably with other layers. Right. Other, like, um, moundy layers. <coughs> so, um... this <clears throat> and like that <clears throat> don't worry it'll look better get better because what I'll do is I'll outline this in black and then when you see it in outlined with black it looks better actually what I'll do is I'll make it more like that <clears throat> then this part Although I drew on it, <clears throat> this is equivalent to the top of this, which is okay that it's there. Yeah, <clears throat> but <clears throat> it can also. Hmm, if I put one of these there, that will be, that'll be fine. See, and you just kind of layer these downward. <clears throat> you put this maybe down here. Maybe if we just have it, yeah, it'll look better down here. Okay. So, just gluing this on. Like that. <clears throat> Not being too specific. I gotta cut out the notch, but it's okay. Trying to leave room from a notch. Oops. Bring this up a little. That's good. <clears throat> Cutting out the notch. So you get an idea, really. I mean, this um, the live streams that I do seem to be haphazard, and yeah, they probably are. Um, but you get an idea of what my process is. 
and um, you know how I come to uh, finishing a card it's just my way of doing stuff doesn't have to be your way but um, this is how I do it this is how I get to uh, my end goal and uh, it still works which is uh, the real goal is to have the card work and um, be able to make something for someone okay so now I can just cut the bottom off cutting along that line not so elegant with the little notch there. I could probably take my blade and just cut that, but I'm not going to. Alright, so fingers crossed this works. I hope all the tape stayed on. But there it is. So his hands don't come up all the way. I couldn't couldn't make it come up all the way. But it still comes up. So that's something. Um little arrow and then pet peeve about this glue is the glue always comes out the sides it's annoying but I'll learn to live with it um, sorry about all the coughing that was not pleasant. Kind of gross. Okay, so uh, I guess the sentiment is So, um, it's 11 o'clock. It's the end of my, um, my, uh, live stream. And, um, this is my Happy Groundhog Day slider. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, let me know if you still want me to do these live streams or if you prefer just the pre-made, um, the pre-produced, um, videos. Subscribe to my channel so you don't lose track of me. I do have other um, uh, pop-up mechanisms that I do um, produced um, uh, tutorials and demos. And I also do have also posted my older live streams, which are all pretty recent actually. And uh, share this video with your friends if you think they can use it. Um, give me a like or dislike down below. And um, give me a comment. Let me know what you think. And um, if you haven't already done so, subscribe to my channel so that I know um, to keep making these videos. Um, and I'll see you online. Thanks for watching. Bye.